Hi, right, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. So, I think we... Let's finish up Kaede's route. I think we have just one more. Huh? What do you want to do? Since we're already outside, you want to move around? Oh yeah, how about we go on a nice stroll and just talk? talking together. The music scores seem to really work. Shuichi. Just so ecstatic. I thought I'd been the only one looking at you, but I guess you noticed me too. <laughs> I think because you gave me such a pretty gift. All right. Time to get super pumped for practice. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, that song again. <clears throat> piano duet. Two people playing piano together. When I was first learning, I didn't quite get it, but now it feels nice. I played the low notes while Coyote played the high. Together we played a melody. Of course, my playing didn't compare, but Kaede carried me. Perhaps that's what gave it a magical sense of unity. At first I was so focused on Kaede sitting next to me that I couldn't focus. But as we kept playing, it got easier. It felt perfectly natural. It's like Kaede and I have become one. After we finished playing, we remained sitting beside one another, basking in it. Shuichi. You're amazing! I can't believe you've improved this much in such little time! No. No, I'm not. No, that isn't quite what I want to say. That's... I had a great teacher who showed me the beauty of playing the piano. Hey! The beauty of playing the piano? What do you mean? Hey! It's so fun to play. I understand why you get entranced by it. <laughs> right? Even though it's just us here right now. Someone might hear and it'll make him smile. That's when you know it's worth it. I was only able to have this great experience because I met you, Kaede. I know this is an abnormal situation, but I'm still so glad I met you. I had a great teacher who showed me the beauty of playing the piano. Shuichi, I can't believe you said something so embarrassing. Huh? What? Um. But I'm glad I met you. While I was teaching you, I was reminded how great pianos are. And I started to realize myself what I can do on the piano. Okay. Yeah. Shuichi. When we get out of here, come over to my house. Huh? You mean it? Your house? Yeah. Of course, where else? Could it be? It's just that I mean going to your house is uh, uh. Wait a minute, I no, I didn't mean it like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? I want us to perform our duet practice on my favorite piano so you could hear it. Uh, okay. Oh, that's what you meant. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. But I also want to talk to you and watch TV with you. Huh? What? You know? You know how I said I wanted to become closer to you when we got out of here? Um. And if it's you, I feel like we could get to know each other a lot more. Does that mean... Um. That's why. Uh, okay. Oh, Just be a man and say yes already. Uh, sorry, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not there yet. With our duet, our friendship, everything. Which is why we're going to escape. So we can hopefully grow together. You're right. Let's let, the, let's let this ship not sink this time. I kind of understood what Kaede was trying to say. I think that's because we have such a strong bond between us. But when we get out of here, I might want to take this even further. Alright. Learned a new skill, Piano Duet. I'm going to have to look at some of these new skills that I got. Kaede and I spent the rest of the day talking about what to do after we escape. Got her panties. Score. Time. What 
should I do? Let's see, who we got? Who we got now? Who we want now? Getting somewhat close to maxing out Himiko. Okay. Hey, Suichi. What's up? Do you need my magic? you want me to try using my magic to get us out of this academy? Sorry, but I already tried that. I almost did it, but I couldn't quite pull it off with my current spell list. Jeez. But if my master was here, we could definitely escape with his magic. Spend time listening to Himiko praise her master. Yeah, she still hasn't told us the whole story about that. It sounded like everyone was, uh, it seemed like she had surpassed her master. So I know she likes the broom. Anything else? Sketchbook, that's probably for Angie. Everywhere parasol. Let's see, these are probably for, uh, Keo. Basic and popular pink color with modest lace. Alrighty. Um, hmm. Should we just go with the, uh... Let me see, where was the... Yeah, the, the Dreams Come True spell book. You. you must have used the Fine Himiko a good gift spell. Well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. Suichi, I'm sorry I treated you like that. Huh? Mm, where is this apology coming from? I... Before, I thought it was a pain to tell you about magic, but... Okay! Now it's different. I've changed. I've decided to live looking forward. So I'm gonna tell you about magic without saying it's a pain. Hmm. I see. What's, what is this? She's different than usual. Hey, Suichi! Isn't that why you came here? To continue where we left off? Right, of course. I'd like to hear it if that's okay. Perhaps there's no real point to this story at all. Yeah. I'm pleased to see you show so much interest in mages. Himiko looked happy, but her expression quickly faded. But... I couldn't stop my master from retiring. The person after his title got just what he wanted. Huh? What do you mean? One time, my master was about to start one of his shows. Way in the back of the audience, my master's enemy was working his scheme. Do you know about the mortal enemy of mages in this world? Excuse me, there was something tickling the back of my throat. Uh, um, mortal enemy? Okay. They have the power to take away magic. An anti-mage. Anti-mage? This is starting to sound like a manga. <laughs> She does, she does come off like she could be the main character in some uh, magical girl manga or anime, doesn't she? This anti-mage took away my master's magic and made him fail. My master was set up. There's no way he would have failed otherwise. My golden age master wouldn't lose to an anti-mage. The audience turned against my master, so I tried to wake them up. 
On behalf of my master, I destroyed the Anti-Mage. So Himiko tried to fix her master's mistakes. But that means... With my magic. My master wouldn't lose against someone I could defeat. Yes, I told them off. The show ended without any more problems, but... When I went back to the green room, my master was gone. I haven't seen him since then. Just as I thought. He was probably embarrassed to have Himiko fix his mistakes. That's... Himiko, none of that is your fault. Stop it. I know, I don't need your pity. Sorry. No. There's no need to apologize. I know what my master must have been thinking. It'll be okay. He probably disappeared for my sake. He probably didn't want to get me involved in a mage power struggle. That's right, that must have been it. Hmm. Miko. Hmm. I couldn't find the words to say. I watched Miko walk away, her head hung low, and I returned to my room. Aw, we didn't make her sad, did we? Let me see, now, now I did read that this, this red slot machine over in this corner seems to have the best chance of a good payout. But let me see how much it, does, does this say how much it does pay out? You have 100 chance, chance of winning if you never stop. Spin, spin, spin forever. Well, that was nonsense. Well, it doesn't say. Still. Having much luck so far. Just a little bit. Come on, you damn mono cubs. made a little bit. Alright. Go ahead and finish up uh, Himiko's route. What's up? Do you need my magic? I think. Yeah, yeah we already tried that. Let's see. 
I almost feel as if as if Kurumi would would like the broom also. It, the item I needed. Yeah. Not bad. Please bring me more stuff to increase my magic stat. Is that all right? Kimiko, there's something I have to tell you. No matter what happens. What? Don't tell me you fell for me. Wait. No, it's not that. It's something about your master. Yeah. My master. Okay. Yes, I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master's training secrets so he can perform with you again. Miko's face didn't change. She must be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. Mm. You might be right. Just sure of it. Sorry I said that. That's what I think. Then... That's what I think. Mm. You know, why did you say it like that? I mean, I guess it sounds detective-y. Guess I could have worded it a little better. Please. Whatever. I don't care if you make assumptions. I can't even find my master using my magic. It's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like you said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training in secret. I thought of that too. Okay. That's why you're focused on improving your magic. That's... Your master's polishing up his magic too, Himiko, to perform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. Magic tricks are what connect you to your to your master. That must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Right? Am I wrong? No. You're wrong. Huh? It's magic. <laughs> it's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Oh. Oh, sorry, you're right. Real magic. Jeez. When you get it. Then. Well, anyway, we have to get out of here soon so you can perform together. Mm, you're right. I'm gonna be more positive and work harder. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Okay. All right, Himiko, thank you. Himiko and I are both focused on the same goal, getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. If I put my trust in this bond, I know we can overcome anything. New skill, Abracadabra. Miko and I parted ways and I returned to my room. And got her panties. Tanko is gonna be pissed, but oh well. Let's see, who should be next? I'm actually thinking Gunta. Although. I don't know, like I said, I have a lot of items that that I think Keo would like, so maybe maybe him. Where the hell is he even? Oh there he is. Right there. Tell me your thoughts. Oh, do you wish to hear about anthropology? Well then. Today, how about we discuss the cultural significance of accessories? I spent the day learning about the anthropology of accessories. That's also Angie's. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, like the monkey paw. Wonderful. To have brought this to me, you truly have an eye for treasures. Tell me your thoughts. If you'd like, I can tell you this item's history. Are you interested? Hello. Since you're here, you wish to learn more about anthropology, yes? Is that all right? Yes, I'd like to learn more, if that's all right with you. I am pleased. Of course, I will speak of it for as long as you wish to hear of it. 
Perhaps we should sit somewhere for our discussion. We decided to sit in the dining hall and drink some tea while we talked. Whatever is the matter? You seem to be looking at me with a strange expression. Is something wrong? Uh, um... Well, you're always wearing that mask, Keo. I was just wondering how you would drink tea. Yes. Uh, this. I take it off at times like these. So he does take it off sometimes. That makes sense, or else he couldn't eat or drink. You see. And I replace it with a mask for meals. Huh? A mask for meals? That's correct. Okay. I have one for bathing, sleeping, and even exercising. So he has a variety. Well then. If you'll excuse me. After excusing himself, Corecchio turned his back to me and began changing masks. He could just take it off. He doesn't have to have so many kinds. Why be why so particular about that? So then. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, Shuichi. Hmm. Hmm. Did you change your mask? Yes. I did. This is the one for meals. It looks exactly the same. I was yeah, I was just gonna say. So then. I will proceed to enjoy this tea now. Uh, okay. This tea has a nice scent. I usually prefer green tea, but this is wonderful. Parecchio looked to be in a trance as he brought the cup of tea to his lips. But won't it just spill on the mask? Wonderful. A mellow flavor that makes itself familiar to the tongue. Huh, the mask isn't wet. Did he pour it in the slit? I didn't even see him do it. Oh. And we have cookies as well. They look delicious. Cookies? I'll definitely get to see him take his mask off to eat that. I held my breath and watched as Corecchio brought the cookie to his lips. Hmm. What the? What happened? The cookie just disappeared. <laughs> what is the matter? Uh, um, the, the cookie, it just disappeared. I see, yes. It's because I put it into my mouth. But it didn't look like you ate it at all. <laughs> You're wondering how I ate it, aren't you? If you are vexed by such trivial things, then your world is still very small. Do you understand? I will open up your world through anthropology if you so desire. Okay. After sharing some tea, I return to my room. By the way, I also noticed that there are achievements for beating each of these games with um, getting an S rank on mean difficulty, which that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a hell of a thing. I don't know if that's something I'm going to be able to do on screen. So close to getting all sevens.
Ah, my luck's running dry again. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's... There's some. Okay, this is day 10. Pumpkin panties out of respect for a certain magical girl. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Like I said, I know Ryoma likes the candy cigarettes. I don't know. Maybe the workout clothes he would also like? Need something? <laughs> go out of your way to pick someone like me. You're a strange guy. Wonder what sort of life you live to be the person you are now. Sorry, I can't show how happy I am. I really am grateful for this gift. Right. Shuichi, I'm not gonna talk about tennis anymore. Huh? Why? What happened? Jeez. I know what you're up to. You just want me to play tennis again. Uh, uh <laughs> I thought so. Hey. Listen up, I'm no longer the ultimate tennis pro. That's just a shell of who I used to be. I threw away my past. But... Did you really, Ryoma? I don't think it's so easy to throw away the burdens we carry. It's hard to see what you're carrying on your own back. Even if you wanted to throw it all away, I'm sure some is still there, clinging to you. Something you can't quite get rid of, like a coffee stain on your shirt. <laughs> coffee stain? What kind of example is that? No. Well, my uncle used to say that all the time. He taught me the detective should always look for the stain on people. That's how you find the truth. That's how my uncle did it, anyway. So that's something you got from your uncle. Well, I guess it works after all. I bet your uncle's a good detective. I knew it. There's something you're still carrying. Is it ten- No. It's not tennis. It's something that should never happen in tennis. But I gathered my resolve and did it. That's- Resolve? What do you mean by that? Oh, is that when he took what down that- you? That mafia? Nothing. We're through- We were talking about coffee stains on my back though, right? Sorry, but I've got nothing back there. However, if there was one regret I was carrying around, it'd be... her. Huh? Who? Yeah. There was someone I promised my future to. Huh? Oh, you mean like a lover? <laughs> Is it that surprising I had a lover? <laughs> I'm used to that reaction. Uh, um... But you said had. Past tense? Yeah. I met her in America when I was studying tennis abroad. At the time, I didn't believe in love, thought it was a joke. Honestly, I don't know how we fell in love, but... She's not a part of this world anymore. Oh. No. So she... Yeah. Yeah, she died. Why? I'm sorry. How did she die? <laughs> I decided to throw everything away. It didn't matter if we loved each other. Uh, um... But she was so important that you wanted a future together, so why? Don't you get it? She would have been unhappy being with me. No, not just her. Anyone. What? That's why you shouldn't bother with me anymore, got it? Uh, um... Ryoma? See ya. Hmm. I what this is all about. 
I watched Yoroma walk away stubbornly and return to my room. Uh, yeah, how about Gonta this time? How Gonta can be useful to everyone. Gonta do the his others best. Need who would go into strength someday, so Gonta train body. Be ready when day comes. Wanna join Gonta, Shuichi? Gonta and I spent some time working out. Let's see, I know he liked the... He liked the necktie. Gentlemen. gentlemen, wear small trinkets like this. Gonta must remember that. Gonta's still not used to gentleman clothes. This is very helpful, Shuichi. Thank you. Thanks for inviting Gonta again, Shuichi. No. You don't have to thank me, Gonta. Because Gonta, gentlemen. Gentlemen always show gratitude with words. Mm. A gentleman, huh? You're very particular about that, Gonta. Mm. Yes, Gonta want to become great gentlemen. Um. But Gonta still have a long way to go before he become true gentlemen. I can't exactly give advice without more information. Um, what do you think a gentleman is, Gonza? Hey! Gentleman, excellent man, best man even. I suppose I should have expected that kind of answer from Gonza. Then... Well, what do you think a gentleman does? Maybe... Gentlemen behave like gentlemen. Kind, earnest, refined, polite. Oh, and gentlemen always treat lady with respect. That very important. All right, that's more like what I'd expect of a gentleman. Hey! And drink tea all the time, and say clever jokes. Huh? What? Mm. And solve mysteries with young sidekick. Huh? Solve mysteries? Um... Going to hear gentlemen go on adventures to find stone mask. And wear fancy tuxedos and save ladies from danger. But Gonta not smart. Not sure if Gonta can think of cool phrase to say. Oh yeah! Oh, some gentlemen talk to each other with muscles. Perfect for Gonta. Okay, what what manga did you read to get this? Hey! What do you think, Shuichi? What kind of gentleman best suits Gonta? Um Imitating others doesn't seem gentlemanly. Hey! Huh? Really? That's true. You should think about what constitutes a gentleman more carefully, Gonta. The people you're talking about are characters from fictional stories. Oh, I see. Gonta not know. You know a lot about gentlemen, Shuichi. No. But not really. No. Yes, you do. Maybe you teach Gonta how to be gentlemen. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Fighting my anxiety, I return to my room. Thus, the ten days that Monokuma gave us passed. All right. Uh, uh oh. Well, now. well, ten days have passed, and it looks like Shuichi wasn't able to seal the deal with anyone. Hey. Ooh, what happens now? You're annoying. I don't know. Celebs who've fallen from the public eye, artists whose projects get cancelled. They knew the risk of pursuing their dreams and failed anyway. So they should take responsibility for that failure, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're on your own because you failed on your own, so I don't know what's going to happen to you. That's not my fault. I didn't choose to come here. Ah, your, sem your semantic argument makes me want to hurl. You should spend more time working on your love game instead. Now then. At any rate, I don't know what's going to happen to you from this point. Try to escape or give up and kill yourself. Do whatever you want. Bye, Anora. Well then, see you later. He said it his usual sneering cadence and disappeared from view. This academy is now under Monokuma's control, but that's why. 
I can't escape the despair. I know I can't possibly escape by myself. If Monokuma's gone, then... My consciousness faded quickly. This is how my days at the Academy ended. No, it won't end. It won't end until I die. The ending that will never end, I await with open arms. Well, okay, apparently, uh... We really need to, uh... <laughs> I guess we need to, uh, max out somebody's, uh... At least one person. I don't know how many. Well, presumably you get the best ending by maxing out everybody. And for that, we need more of those, uh, date tickets. Or hope that they just ask us out on their own. Now, if we if we continue from here, do we just start it back at day one? Yeah. Hey. Uh, can we, do we have no option of skipping this, uh, do we have no option of skipping the intro this time? The other two games gave you the option to skip the intro. Okay. Let's see, so... Let's see how much carried over. Okay. It's about the same as before. Let's see, this time Gunta and Ryoma are the closest, so I should probably continue wow. with either of them. No way you came to invite me. You probably won't have fun, you know. Sheesh. If you're fine with that, then I won't stop you. I'll just keep going with the, uh, the workout clothes worked before. <laughs> you got good taste. Yeah. I hope I can return the favor, but I'm not great at giving gifts. Hey. Shuichi, you know what I was gonna say, right? 
that's... I could venture a guess you don't want me talking to you. Don't you get it? Exactly. Like I said before, don't bother with me. But... But that's not an order, is it? <laughs> True. You've got no right ordering you around. So what business do you have with a guy who'd throw away his own lover? Because... I can't imagine you'd do something heartless, Ryoma. You must have had your reasons. Something to do with the Mafia? So why'd you do it, Ryoma? You really want to hear about it. Uh, I'd like to, or... You don't have to answer. Just say I'd like to okay. hear it. I'd like to hear it from you. <laughs> that face tells me you're not interested as a detective. If that's the case, I've got no reason not to answer. <laughs> it started with an invitation. It was an underground tennis competition held on a Mafia-owned luxury liner. Huh? An underground tennis competition? Is that a thing? In other words... They were gambling on the matches. It was just a vulgar hobby of the rich. I didn't want to get involved with it, but they wouldn't let off. I thought I'd teach them a lesson by showing up and ruining things. Gambling on tennis. There's a niche for everything. They called it a tournament, but it was just a bunch of fixed matches. I didn't like that, so I pretended to go along with their plan. And at the last second, I crushed the opponent I was meant to lose against. Huh? Ah, but if your opponent was with the Mafia, that would mean... Yeah. yeah mafiosos get really upset when their reputation's ruined. Back then, I was naive. Too naive. Never crossed my mind that they'd massacre my family for revenge. Oh, Jesus. No. Massacre? Yeah. My lover was safe, but I didn't know when they'd get to her. That's why I had to run somewhere far away. But it was no use. They found her and killed her anyway. I was the only one who escaped the Mafia, and even then, just barely. Huh? I don't believe it. I shouldn't have let her go. I should have kept her by my side and protected her. If I had done that then, at least you wouldn't have been alone. Well, you know what happened after that, right? That's... You massacred them for revenge. Yeah. And that's why I was thrown in prison. This is more than I would have ever expected from Ryoma. Jeez. Shouldn't have asked. I'm just a helpless fool. Unable to think of a response, I watched Ryoma walk away and return to my room. Okay, who's next? We haven't... We haven't hung out with Tenko much. Where the hell is she? There's Kaido. There's Maki. We haven't we haven't really we haven't really spent much time with her yet either. There's Tenko. What? What does a degenerate male want from me? Uh, I might regret this, but are males waging a war on girls? It's kill or be killed. Is that it? Sneak attack. Then I'll not go down without a fight. Come at me. Raising. Wait, what? <laughs> I spent considerable time convincing Tenko not to hurt me. Yeah, she probably would kick my ass for saying that. Tenko and I grew a little closer today. Let's see. Let's see. She might... And more stuff that... More stuff that Kia would probably like. What about Tenko? Ooh, maybe the sandbag. Sports towel. Steel glasses case. Gonta might appreciate that. Points the owner's loved one. A must-have for stalkers. Oh, since she has a thing for Himiko, she might like this, actually.
I can have this? Thank you. Proper girls show gratitude, even if male degenerates do wrong, the gifts do not. I'm sorry! About before, I'm sorry for throwing you. But it's because you're a degenerate male. Blame yourself for being born that way. Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't sound like much of an apology. <laughs> yeah, really. I woke up in bed. Did you carry me back to my room, Tanko? I didn't want to, but I couldn't just leave you there. It was bothering me. Well, thank you. Well, you may you may not have anything else going for you, but at least you have guts. Why? Guts? You still came to talk to me, even though I threw you around like a rag doll. You might have an ulterior motive like most males, but you have a lot of courage. Unless you're one of those degenerates who enjoys being stepped on. <laughs> you're the worst of the worst! You're a tough one to crack. Wait! That's wrong. I don't have a fetish or anything. Hey. So you say. Tanko, you always take the conversation too far. Maybe try calming down a little. Huh. What do you know? I'm much calmer than before. Huh? You're calmer than before? That's right! My parents told me I used to have anger tantrums similar to an exploding volcano. Volcano? How bad was she? What? I guess my parents were pretty worried about that. They thought I wouldn't be able to fit into society that way. So they sent me to a temple to help discipline my mind. Piece of cake. And as a result of my training, I became the calm and composed girl I am today. See? Well, that's good. I have great parents. Uh, um... I see. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good I can casually talk to people now. Hmm. It was that bad? That's right! I thought I was talking normally before, but I realized others couldn't tolerate me anymore. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure my parents never expected my accomplishment with the head priest. What? We created Neo Aikido together. Oh, I see. That was your master. What? How does Aikido fit into all that at all? <laughs> During my mental training at the temple, I called the head priest, Master. His proper titles are necessary. Master was very pleased about this and added a new rule to the temple. He declared that he was the master of martial arts. Because he's just that important. No. That important, huh? Listen up! We decided to create a martial arts master specialized in, and after reflecting on it, Neo Aikido was born. Huh? That's an odd origin story. How dare you say that? Well, fine. New concepts are difficult for people to accept anyway. But one day I'll make Neo Aikido the national sport. That's my dream. Well, good luck with that. Still thinking about the origin of Neo Aikido, I return to my room. Try the uh, treasure hunter monolith again. Maybe kind of practice it a little bit. This one's definitely gonna be hard to to S rank on mean. You really have to. It's gonna really force me to plan my moves carefully, isn't it? They do at least give you plenty of time. Oh, 
seat. It's pretty damn mean about it. Okay, double A, that's not too bad. And I did make a net gain, so... That, that didn't go too bad. Wait, only one... So, the one I, I, so, okay, the date tickets don't carry over, though, do they? Hmm. Let me double check. Yeah, I see. Yeah, just the one, so I guess they don't carry over. Crud. Well then, I get if it's use it or lose it. to hang out in the courtyard. It's like we're the only ones here. What should we do? Get some fresh air, go for a run, go back inside. That's right. It's probably just me, but the outside air always feels so refreshing. <laughs> Composing isn't my specialty, but I feel like I can compose a relaxing song right now. Good, it seems like we both had a lot of fun. Hey, that one well anyways. It's such a great time. It's been a while since I had this much fun doing something other than the piano. If you want, let's hang out again. I want to know more about you, Shuichi. Well, let's walk back to the dorms together. Okay, I think I think we just have one more to finish Ryoma's route. What's wrong? Need something? <laughs> you got out of your way to pick someone like me. You're a strange guy. I wonder what sort of life you live to be the person you are now. Sometimes even I want to feel happy, so I'll accept this. Thanks. You're... What on earth are you thinking? You know full well you shouldn't bother with me, so why are you still here? I've been told not to get involved countless times before, but... I'm... I don't intend on throwing our relationship away, Ryoma, and I won't let you either. Because... You knew the consequences, but stuck to your feelings anyway. I respect that. I don't want someone I respect to tell me that they have nothing. That's why I want to stay by your side, as your classmate and your friend. Uh, um... Ryoma? <laughs> so this is what it's like to be at a loss for words. 
You're a bigger idiot than me. Do what you want. But I don't dislike that about you. Then... Please. Shuichi, got a minute? Let's go to my research lab. First, go ahead and take these. A tennis ball and racket? What? I don't know if you've played tennis before, but you can hit the ball, right? That's true. Okay, he is he is gonna play tennis then. Alright. I think I can. It's decided. Then I'm gonna check your resolve. Ready? Aim for me with the ball. Huh? Aim for you? Your Try hitting me with it. Right in the face if you can. Huh? What? You want me to do what? Hit you? Are you serious? What? I said I was going to test your resolve, right? So show me. Um... I guess so, if that's what you really want. All right. I'll do it. I don't know what he's thinking, but if this is what he wants... <laughs> good answer. I knew you were that kind of idiot. Now let's get stupid. <laughs> Ryoma stood on the other side of the net, tennis racket gripped lightly in his hand. Imitating the pros to the best of my ability, I threw the ball up and swung. My racket connected, and the ball flew toward Ryoma faster than I expected. Oh. Ryoma? <laughs> that was a good serve. I can feel how serious you are. It's not over yet. But you've still got a ways to go. Huh? I stood frozen in fear. The ball grazed by my cheek so close I could feel the fibers. Wait! Wait a minute, you're gonna hit it back at me? Well, duh, that's how tennis works, Shuichi. <laughs> I never said I wouldn't. Don't worry, I won't hit any vital parts. He's got his game face on. What am I supposed to do? Our fierce battle began. Over the course of the match, I realized why Ryoma would test me like this. Because that's just Ryoma's way. Because during that game, we were both having fun, goofing off, messing around. I don't know how much time passed. After every drop of our energy was spent, we both collapsed on the court, panning. Hey. Shuichi, even when we get out of here, I'll, s I'll still be in prison, but if I ever get out, I'm gonna go and pick up everything I threw away. It's too late for a lot of things. But if I can still reach some, I'd like to bear those stains again. Just like how I'm burying you on my back right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. I'm so glad I could help him face that side of himself. That's what this was all about, right? I helped him find the fun of the game again because of our bond as friends. As long as we have that bond, no opponent will ever beat us. Alright. Learn a new skill, Killer Smash. Ryoma and I spent what felt like hours on that court laughing and talking about nothing. <laughs> Plain old tidy whities Slots again. Are you sure this one is the one with the best chance of a payout? Hell yeah! Well, okay, there's... Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh. 
Damn it. All those sevens and not. And not one jackpot. Looking to seeing what exactly these other items do. And I'm not sure if I really need those mono emergencies. That essentially gives me another block of free time. But anyways, I think that'll about do it for this for this one. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh wait! Okay, Samugi wants to go out again. Great. Okay. Of course. Let's see. Oh, the library. Maybe there's manga there she likes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's read a dirty book. No, no she'd probably prefer the manga. I was thinking the same thing. Novels and literature are fine, but first you gotta check out the manga. Precious. Manga are so great, the pinnacle of human culture. Now you're talking. What is this? It's been a while since I've had so much fun doing something besides cosplay. It's a mystery even to me why I had this much fun. It's probably thanks to you, Shuichi. Uh, Shall we go back to the dorms together? Alright, now how will I spend the day? Okay. Then, uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm playing a game!